gorgeous day and such an appropriate place to discuss forestry. Now, keep in mind that we are at the Arboretum and I am going to talk about logging and I unfortunately this place is a bit more scary. But this is what we're going to discuss. Does anyone know any of the basic trees that I have? Oh. Oh. Maple, if there was some around. Maple. <laughs> See, those are the ones that I'm basically going to concentrate on today for logging purposes. Back in my hometown, seeing as tobacco isn't a main cash crop anymore, now it's logging. And, let's see, it wasn't my, it was my junior year that I participated in the state forestry contest and learned a little bit more about logging. So, let's come on and let's walk. The thing about these trees around here, like this one for example, This is a landscaping tree. We cannot log out of this because within logging, you worry about from the first break off, so the first branch down. And so, and you have to look for knots because whenever you get hardwood floors, you don't want knots in them. You don't want knots in the boards, anything like that. So big knots, and basically, if it doesn't look pretty, cut it down. That was always my biggest thing. If it's not pretty, cut it down. It's not worth it. Okay, and this one over here. This would have been a great tree to log. It would have. But look, right here are these forks. But whenever you stand back and look up, look at where the first branches are. They would have been perfect because you would have gotten a maximum amount of logs. Whenever you stand back, whenever you're out in a field and you're thinking about logging a tree, you're not gonna have a tape measure with you. And it's not done by measurements exactly, it's done by chains. And a chain is 66 feet. So unfortunately, I didn't bring a tape measure with me as well, but I measure my chains by steps. And 66 feet for me is 23 steps. So, you start at the base of the tree. One, two, three, four. <laughs> right here is where I would be standing with my Biltmore stick. I would be holding it up like this with direct arm length at a very casual state. You want to be loose and limber whenever you want to <laughs> check out your tree to see how many logs there are going to be in that tree. And I wish I would have brought it with me. I don't know what I was thinking. But on the Biltmore stick, there are four sides. It's, it looks like a yardstick. And on each side, it tells a different measurement, whether it be how many logs will be in the tree. I'm trying to think of the other ones. That's basically what I'm getting at. And another way, let's see. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Right over here. So what is this one? It's a red oak. Red oak, okay. This is just a little forest today. Okay, red oak. Where's the maple? I did not have that. That's a sycamore. That's a sycamore. Okay, well, let's go get a leaf from there. There are distinct differences. Are there not? So every tree and every leaf is different. So that means you're going to log it differently. And you can come over to the bark. This is the identification method. Feel this bark and look at it. It's scaly. It's not normal compared to like a pine or a maple or oak. Just look at it. It flakes off. And the colors. The colors. Now we'll go compare it to the other one.
Now fill the bark on this one and look at the vari variations of the two. So whenever you're looking to identify a tree, you look at the leaves and the bark and what surrounds it. Does anyone have any questions? Yes. Uh, so there's different types of oaks, like red oak, white oak. Is the leaves on every oak tree the same? Or no. do, can you just tell by the bark? It's over here. On these, they would be rounded instead of. They would be rounded instead of pointed. And then, if you were looking at a pine tree, some pine. Well, there's not one around here. But a Virginia pine has two pine needles, and all the other pine trees have four. So that's another way to tell. And whenever you're thinking about logging, like this tree, you probably get. Tell you how many logs. But that is a good logging tree. It's not as tall as you would think. Whenever, whenever I imagine logging, what do y'all imagine? Whenever you're looking for a logging tree, you meant tall and straight. Tall and straight. Yeah. And big. And big. <laughs> Bear. Yes. So an arboretum really isn't the greatest place to identify these, but you'll get the gist of it. No imperfections with it in the bark any knots, look at the branches, and that's about it. Right. Anyone have any questions? Okay, so how many feet are in a chain? 66. 66, okay. Um, okay. Anyone else have any more questions for me? My phone's ringing up. Alright, seven.